YouTuber. Let's see here. Go live. Dollar Silver first one in the building, boy. We in here two and a half hours later than I wanted to be. This is crazy. Hold on. Participate members only. And bam, there we go. Let me see customization. Hmm. What up, what up, what up? I see people starting to pile up in here. Welcome everybody, welcome. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to make sure that we uh, channel members only. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Give me a moment and we're going to get this show rocking in the rolling. Live chat replay. Kick, 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 kick. We is in here. We're about to get this thing on roll soon sorry i'm so freaking late man i've been working on creating these product listings and getting this stuff on the website god it was taking forever i, I literally since i got back from my doctor's appointment this morning i just been working on getting the website together it's currently shut down to the public it's only available for Patreon and channel members, if y'all hear those little ding come through on my phone, that's because people from Patreon, they already got the early access to both the website with the password and their 10% off discount. So they're in there right now and they're going crazy, getting whatever they can. There's like 30 new product listings on the website. Some of it is just variations of individual particular products. Maybe there's a total of eight new products with multiple variations. I heard that. That was another ding. That was another ding. That means another order has come through. And I'm going to be shouting everybody out at the end of the live stream. And yes, we are doing a paranormal reaction this evening. Let's see here. We're about to actually get that started real soon. I'm just trying to get all the little live stream things in, in order. I wanted that. R in reaction to be capitalized. There we go. Kabili. And we got some new members joining in. They want in on the action. They want in on the fun. Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. All right. Hold on. Let's see how many. Uh, 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 uh. Hold on. Something. Is this thing channel members only? Partic All right, hold on. Participant modes. Who can send messages? Anyone? Subscribers? Live commentary? Approved users? Members. Got it. Members only. But what about... That's as far as it led me... I swear this used to have way more... Hold on. This used to be way more options. How do you want to go live? We're already doing that. Game thumbnail. Uh, no, 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 no. License, pause, stop. Show how many viewers, yep. Nope, okay. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one, big baby. <laughs> we is in here. Welcome. Boy, it's been a long wait. It's been a long wait. I know you guys have been waiting for the new Karen t-shirts and hoodie. You, you, you hear my phone going crazy. That's the members on Patreon. They're, they're on the website. Only them. 
right now got access to the website with the password and the discount link. If you're a Patreon member and you're in here watching, you better go run to Patreon so you can get your 10% off um, discount link and your password so that you can get into the website before I release that website password right here in the live stream. Woo, we is in here. We is in here. Man, we got a bunch of folks up in here today. Welcome, everybody. Hold on, let me see what y'all talking about. Let me go ahead and shout some folks out before we get this thing rolling because that's one of the, the perks, the benefits of being a, a channel member. You get shouted out. Dollar Silver was the person up in here. Andrew, what's good, big baby? Yeah, Mark, I see you, Brian and Press, Sabrina. Honey Pineapple's first uh, moderator in the building. Jeff, Cara, Sabrina, what's up? Hunted Expeditions, Bright Guy, Miss Hatcher, how you doing? The Viking, um, Pink Angel, you a new one. You don't look too familiar. Michelle, Key Simone, Gemini Queen, second mod in the builder. Chef, she over there on the Patreon too. Dana, up. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, uh, buddy? Um, look, uh, let me let me leave you alone. Libby, <laughs> Giovanna, Crystal is good. N uh, is that Naley? How you doing? Welcome to the show. King Cole in the building. Um, Ethan, what's good with you? Wavy J, Angie, I see you up in here. Phyllis, what's good? Angel, Amanda, Rose. Yeah, I love that y'all typing in the chat, letting everybody, letting everybody know that y'all up in here. Nicole, yeah. Ghost KOL Media. Matthew, new new mod, new channel members. Uh, Ashley, new channel members. Yeah, we is in here, Oasis. What's good, Rochelle? Bunch of folks, bunch of folks. Hold on. Uh, am I missing a mod? Hold on. We got 100 pineapples. We got Gemini Queen. I know I'm super late, y'all. I do apologize. We are late as heck. But y'all ready? I'm about to give y'all the passcode, the password, to get into the website so that you guys can go ahead and go crazy placing your orders. As soon as you scroll underneath the picture of me and um, Jessica, you will see the link to where all the new AOK -OK 2024 merchandise is or 2024 collection. I think that's what I named it. But y'all hear that? Them things, them things. That's more people from Patreon coming up in here, copying what they can and going crazy. All right. Link is coming right now. Let me go ahead and put it in here. What was it? I think I forgot the password, y'all. I did forget the password. I got to go to Patreon right quick. Because <laughs> they got two. They got one for the discount and one for the pat. I don't remember which is which. Wait a minute. I forgot. Oh, man. Hold on. It's been a long day. I've been sitting in this chair working on this freaking website all day. Hold on. How do I use Patreon? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, I got it. Okay. Now I see what it is. Patience, patience. Where is it? Boom. Oh, password. Ba 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 ba. I know people are like, when is he gonna hit the sit? <laughs> Hold on, give me a break, leave me alone. Did I do it right? And there we go, it's pinned. I'm about to pin it. I ain't pinned yet, but I'm about to pin it. It's in the way. It's not moving. I can't freaking pin it. <laughs> Boom. Pin. There we go. God, now it's pinned. The password is available. And if you're a Patreon member, head on over. Head on over and do what you need to do. And get what you need to get. And use your discount code. And y'all, let me go ahead and apologize right now. I apologize. I'm so sorry. That it took me so dang on long. How long it took 
It's 1038. I was supposed to do this like two and a half hours ago. Oh my God. I didn't think it was going to take this long to put everything up on the website. I didn't. I really didn't. Y'all keep hearing them things? That means the people are buying. What's wrong with my camera? Oh, there you go. I was tripping for a second. I'm like, stuff still like the camera cricket. You know what I did? It's still cricket. It don't even matter no more. You know what I did? So I should have waited, but I had a good time. You know the movie Talk to Me that y'all recommended me doing? That's up on Patreon. I did that reaction earlier today. I should I should have used that time to work on the website. Then we could have been in here doing this a hell of a lot earlier. Because watching that whole movie, edited, uploading, all that, that took hours. It took hours to do. But... That's up on Patreon if y'all want to go watch a good movie. Y'all don't have to rent it. I rented it for you. Go watch. Have a good time. That was a good horror movie, too. Thank y'all. If y'all got some more recommendations, let me know. We'll put them on Patreon because that's the literally the only platform that we can watch actual movies on. But I want to show y'all something real quick. So I went to Hobby Lobby today. And you know the Dragon Ball Z Goku tribute painting that I'm working on? I went and got the paper. Here's the paper. Watercolor arches, cold press with the rigid edges that I love. Look at that. Ooh, I love those. I love that. This is obviously too big. Hopefully, if I cut it in half, it'll get me closer to the size that I need to do this painting. I, this was the only size that I can get it in. So, yeah, be on the lookout. Hopefully this weekend I'll be able to get back to doing that tribute drawing, that tribute painting for uh, Goku, for Akira Toriyami. R.I.P. Let me show y'all the actual. Is it is it in here? Wait, is it in here? I don't think. So. Wait, where is it? There it is. So, remember I cut this out. And I'm going to put this on that watercolor paper. And we're going to get back to finishing that painting. Yeah, can't wait. Looking forward to it. But let me put it in here. Keep it safe. Keep it flat. In the meantime. In between time. Let me grab the green screen so we can get the show on the road. So we can watch... Some paranormal. I'm going to need to see y'all spam the chat for Slap Ham. Because we got an hour-long video from him, and it's already going on 11 o'clock. We're going to be here to midnight, y'all. It's on the East Coast. Look, we in the East Coast right now. We're going to be here to midnight if you're on the East Coast. But it's Friday. We don't got to go to work tomorrow. Shit. Some of us don't. I do, but some of us don't. I got a big old black mark. I don't think y'all can see. Oh, y'all can't see it. Y'all see that freaking black mark right here and right there? And right there? What? The, what? I hope that don't show up. Nah, it should be. I need to clean the green screen. I never thought I had to say that. was good we is in here y'all ready to get this thing on a roll yes y'all that is right these are pre-orders these are pre-orders for the oh wait this ain't working there we go this is pre-orders for the new merchandise sorry if i didn't elaborate on that before but yes these are wait hold on where's the freaking video that we're watching about to go black Bam! color color why is there wetness it, i still not doing this right hold on about to go white bam i'm at green look y'all it's been a long day this is not my usual process <laughs> hold on slap him is this the right video 
Yep, about an hour long. I found it. Hold on, y'all. Bam. There we go. Hey, Slappy the Ham. How you doing? I'm Cap. All right. I think the volume's good. All right, y'all. Yes, again, the pre-order link is available at the top of the live stream right now so that you guys can go in there and grab and copy your merchandise. Pre-orders. Pre-order is available to you guys right now. It's going to be, y'all still, it's going to look. And pre-order is going to be available for a freaking, the rest of, from now till next Saturday. Pre-orders are going to be available. Patreon supporters, your discount code is going to be like whatever. It, it's not going to end. <laughs> the, the discount code is going to be available to you from now to the end of the year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to get on a website, that discount code is available to you guys. But yeah, the pre-order is available right now on the website. Give it about a month, depending on what you order. Some of the stuff will be going out within the next two weeks. Some of the stuff that you guys get... Um, like the, the blankets, the hoodies and stuff. It was going to take about a month. It's going to take about a month. And I do apologize. I do apologize for the price and how expensive I ha I was forced to make these, these hoodies. Because anything else, I would have literally been losing money just to get this stuff to you guys. But I promise you, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. The quality is top notch, top tier. I source for I source the materials. I source the manufacturer from some of the top brands that make some of the top apparel out there, and they killed it. They did a phenomenal job, which is why they charged an arm and a leg. But I'm never doing it again. <laughs> I like to bring you guys the the most affordable stuff I possibly can. So luckily, from now on, after this, there'll be a lot of stuff that I'll be able to print myself in house. And some of that stuff, like the the, the women's t-shirts that are, you know, the, the the race back tank tops, I'm printing that myself. The the little the little kids onesies, printing that myself. The new Ghost of Real designs, which I didn't even tell you guys about. The new t-shirts that y'all see on the website right now, I'll be printing those myself. Yeah, those don't look. I wasn't even gonna release those until like fall <laughs> i really was gonna wait to fall to release those and then i was like you know what i'm gonna do something special i'm gonna release it to my patreon supporters early and then i'm gonna release it to you guys so yeah the ghost of real shirts those y'all be able to get sooner in both the two designs it's so much y'all got the 50 11 time stuff on there it's i'm gonna be shouting everybody out that cop stuff at the end of the live stream so much stuff it took me forever to get all that stuff up on the website but man I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm happy with myself. Y'all, we're about to get into this. This is Slap Ham. I need y'all to spam the chat with a slap in the ham. Y'all know where it's at. Y'all hear the things coming through. I got to move the phone up out the way because this is it's, going to look crazy right now. I see the Slap Ham. That's right, baby. This video is an hour long and it's titled, These Scary Videos Live in Your Basement. I ain't got no basement, so right, I'm good. Let's go. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the scariest videos going around the internet. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. This first video, shared to Instagram by user Squatchwatch1, was recorded by an individual while walking onto a small pier. Take a look at what they've captured. Squatch watch one. I like it. Bro, what is that? A large unidentified creature can be seen swimming past. Barely visible from the surface, the animal looks huge. Massive is what it looks. The uploader suggests. Bro, that looked like a, a prehistoric swimming dinosaur. You know what they used to show us as a kid? Like dinosaurs that used to swim and they 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 look kind of like old like what whales used to be. <laughs> And they got these weird fins and they got these long face beaks things. That the creature might be the legendary Ogopogo, a Ogopogo. cryptid said to inhabit Okanagan Lake in British Columbia, Canada. What if it's just a dolphin or something? I just saw a fin. 
Often referred to as Canada's Loch Ness Monster, Ogopogo has been part of local First Nations folklore for centuries, with the Sealks people calling it Narked or the Snake in the Lake. So you're trying to tell me that we have known about the Loch Ness Monster for since I was a child, but Canada's version of the Loch Ness Monster, the Ogopogo, we I'm just now hearing about? Why? Is it because... It sounds childish. Was they ashamed of their little mysterious creature? The Ogopogo. Mm -hmm. Loch Ness Monster sounds 10 times better. Ogopogo is described as a serpentine creature with a horse-like head and a series of humps along its back, measuring anywhere from 40 to 70 feet in length. The first recorded sighting of Ogopogo by European settlers dates back to the early 20th century, with numerous accounts and alleged sightings since then. Some believe the creature to be a type of prehistoric marine animal, such as a plesiosaur or a basilosaurus. Yeah, that was I was thinking about right there, the hoodie the hoodies. That's exactly what I was picturing in my head that that thing might have looked like, because I ain't gonna lie, these fins, it did look like it had some real long fins like this. Man, what if there's one of them things still in the ocean somewhere, man? That'd be crazy. Bro, when you think about it, the ocean is so big, I don't think everything went extinct that was in the water. For us, while others argue it could be a large sturgeon. Oh, it could be. A big old fish. Or an entirely new species yet to be discovered. That too. Despite numerous expeditions and scientific investigations, no definitive evidence has ever been found to confirm the existence of Ogopogo. The creature remains shrouded in mystery, capturing the imagination of both locals and visitors to the Okanagan Valley alike. It amazes me that there's still things, not just in the water, but on land, animals and creatures that have yet to been discovered. That's amazing to me. While the creature in this video is certainly large, it doesn't exactly fit the typical description of Ogopogo. Ogopogo. So, can you identify the beast? Let me know what you think this is in the comments down below. What if it's a dolphin? Or, or what's that one thing? You know the, what's, I can't think of the name of it, never mind. The dolphins with the round heads? They kind of look like whales, y'all know what I'm talking about. This next set of images were uploaded to Reddit by user Prabmar1428. Added a new- Shadante, you live in Canadian woman? She said she ain't never even heard of it. I'm trying to tell you, they were so ashamed of their little Ogopogo that they didn't even want their own people to know about it. She'll glance, the focus seems to be on the damage to the car's side. Uh-uh. However, upon closer inspection, a ghostly face can be seen peering through the windshield. What that is. The second image has been enhanced, making the face more visible. While there's little information available about these images, one commenter claimed that the photo was actually of a car that belonged to a friend of a friend of theirs. According to the story, the driver had had a minor accident late at night and video called his father to show the damage. During the call, his father asked, who's in the car? The son responded, I'm all alone. That's when his father shared these eerie images. It's hard to deny the unsettling nature of the face in the vehicle. Many have compared it to Michael Jackson's appearance in the music video, Thriller. <laughs> Yo, it do look like Michael Jackson Thriller. No. Hey, I remember this story now because of the... the I remember because of what he just said in regards to the dad. <sighs> Sorry, it's late and I've been at this computer all day. But yeah, no, the dad was like, who is that in the car? And the boy was like, I'm here all by myself. No, you ain't. Got Michael Jackson Thriller in there, man. Let's hope for the photographer's sake that nothing evil's lurking in the dark. Shit, for real. That's a bad omen right there. You get in a car accident and then some evil looking thing is inside of your vehicle. Where is this? This place does not look safe. A chilling photograph shared by Reddit user OMG Jess has captured the attention of paranormal enthusiasts as it appears to show a ghostly figure lurking in the background. 
The photo, which was displayed in one of the campus buildings at the user's university, was originally taken at the historic Richmond Vale Mining Museum in the Hunter Valley of New South Wales, Australia. According to the OP, the mines near the university are believed to be haunted, and ghost tours are even offered at the museum. The user recounts how their teacher showed them the photo while walking through the campus building, asking if they believed in ghosts. The image features a man standing in one of the mine's large tunnels. But upon closer inspection, a mysterious grey face seems to be peering out from behind a pipe in the background. The face oh, appears I transparent mean... with discernible eyes, a nose and a mouth. The Hunter Valley of New South Wales, Australia is no stranger to ghostly tales and supernatural sightings. The region is steeped in history with numerous reports of paranormal activity from locals and visitors alike. Some famous haunted locations in the area include the Maitland Jail and the Victorian Theatre in Newcastle, where numerous ghost sightings and unexplained phenomena have been reported over the years. As the haunting photograph continues to intrigue viewers, the debate over its authenticity remains. Could this old photo truly be hiding evidence of a real ghost, or is it simply a trick of light and shadow? For now, the mystery endures, leaving paranormal enthusiasts to ponder the secrets of the Hunter Valley's haunted past. Even though that could be pareidolia, it looks so sinister, man, with the eyes and the long curl, curled nose and the, and the smile go, mm -mm. Who spotted that? I didn't even notice that until they zoomed in. A post by Reddit user Alex Boo shared a chilling discovery made on their father's property, sparking speculation and intrigue among fellow Redditors. The uploader described walking through the forest and stumbling upon a partially buried Ziploc bag containing two- Hey John, I got, I got magnets on the um, website already. I got magnets. I think there's three different designs for the magnets currently available on the website. Hey, they're actually, they're right here. Some of them at least. Yeah. John, John Hudson. Got your magnets right here, my guy. They're on the website, check them out. Knives concealed underneath a rock. The user noted the eerie atmosphere as the location was remote, surrounded by conifers and far away from any landmarks. The image of the knives, seemingly hidden on private property, immediately led commenters to jump to the conclusion that they may have been discarded evidence from a crime scene. The possibility of an assailant having purposefully hidden the knives in such an isolated area fueled further speculation and unease. Yo, them knives were some murder weapons at one point. As the investigation unfolds, the community eagerly awaits any new information that may shed light on the circumstances surrounding this unsettling find. Hey y'all, we're gonna pause for just a moment. I wanna show you guys something that a lot of y'all don't even know about when it comes to the blankets. I wanna show y'all this real quick. Yeah. Hey Jenny, welcome to the Jeep family, baby. I hope you enjoy your ride. We some Jeepers, cuz. All right, I want to show y'all this real quick. Oh, wait. All right, y'all, remember, this was the original size of the blanket, right? This was the original size of the Karen blanket, right? Pretty big. It's a pretty good size, right? As it stands right here, it's touching the floor. But no, this ain't what y'all getting. I'm sorry. This is what y'all getting. It's the big, big boy. It's even bigger. This is the size that you guys will be getting, 
But it's going to be made by the company that manufactured these because the color is better. So y'all going to be getting this quality, but in this size. Ugh. Ugh. So, so the pre-orders on the website, that's what that's for. The pre-orders is for those blankets, the big blankets, the ones that are going to cover you up. I'm a big boy, and that thing covered me up real nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yep, y'all gonna get the big ones. Ooh, 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 that drapes not. Ooh, ooh, that look good. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Ooh, thank y'all for telling me to get blankets, cause I needed my own blankets. I was like, man, hey. The blankets I got them too short. They too small. Like my feet be cold. I don't like that. I don't like my feet cold. Get big. In a video shared on Instagram by user Green Coom, a man can be seen walking. Say the Karen shirts are not on the website. The Karen shirts should be on the website. Let me double check. Walking through his backyard in the dead of night. He mentions that it's 2 a.m. and his wife had just heard some odd noises coming from outside of their home. Suspecting the children might be playing in their back shed, the man takes his camera and goes outside. 2 a.m. The wife just woke up, said she thought someone was playing in her back shed. I hope not, because it's almost falling apart. It wouldn't be very safe, but... I'm going to come out here and have a look around, see if any of the neighborhood kids are messing around or anything. You get quiet here for a second. Oh, what the heck? On reaching the shed, he scans the dark area with his flashlight, hoping to reveal the sources of the noise. What he catches on camera is terrifying. Bro, oh. I swear the Karen shirt was the first thing that I... It might just not be added to the collection, but it's. I'm pretty sure it should be on the website. Hold on, let me... Let me check for it real quick. I'm sorry, you guys. It's not showing in the collection. It should be definitely on the website. Oh, crap. How come I can't just search for it? All right, let me let me look the hard way. Uh, the Karen shirts should definitely be on the website. They just might not be in the collection. Which that shouldn't even be the. I knew it's the first thing I'd put on the website. Hold on. Don't tell me I didn't put it on there. Karen Blanket. Yeah, here they are. Oh, that's what it is. I didn't add it to the collection. Sorry about that. Boom. All right, now the Karen shirt is added to the collection. Sorry about that. Thank you for catching that for me. Who was that that caught that? Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Darn it, I'm not seeing it no more. But well, somebody caught it and, and let me know. Yeah, the, if you were to type it in, if you would have typed in the Karen shirts, it would have popped up. But yeah, it's added to the collection now. Sorry about that. <laughs> And y'all forget, y'all haven't even seen the final, final, final product for the Karen shirts or hoodies. Um, you can see it on the website, how it's going to have the print on the back of all of the hoodies as well. And um, the 511 Times hoodies, they got the print on the sleeve as well. I want to go back on this. I want to see what's happening. The wife just woke up, said she thought someone was playing in her back shed. I hope not, because it's... Almost falling apart. It wouldn't be very lying. Watch. Oh, I remember this. Watching that again as the flashlight moves upwards, a shadowy figure becomes visible among the roof supports. I remember it. How's that? Is that fool go? Did he go sit in some black charcoal or something? Oh my god! Again, you guys. Sorry, 
the Karen shirts is added to the collection. It was on the website. It just wasn't showing up in the collection. It was showing in the t-shirt collection and in the summer collection, just not in the AOK 2024 new collection. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below. I think that's a man in black. It's, he, <laughs> yo, he did that job butt naked. He probably got charcoal in his booty hole. I meant. <laughs> yo, he, he, took, he took blackface to the wrong level. He was supposed to do just the face. He did his whole body. And he went black, black. Yo, I, hey, I swear, I swear I saw his butt cheeks and in the crack, it wasn't, it wasn't that black. <laughs> Weirdness, man. Hey, hey, why you running like that? I wouldn't be screaming for help. An eerie piece of CCTV footage from August 2018 has been uploaded to YouTube by Vision Paranormal leaving viewers puzzled and speculating about the existence of vampires. The video showcases an unusual scene captured by a factory security camera in an English neighborhood. As two men walk down an alleyway, a closer look reveals their remarkably striking features. Both individuals oh. appear to have long pointy ears, dark eyes and elongated noses leading to comparisons Yo, with the my man look like a werewolf classic depiction of vampires or a vampire i guess yo that's crazy however what if they're actors and this is <laughs> you know they just left their their makeup room and now they're walking to the set some viewers argue that the men could simply be wearing highly detailed masks dismissing any paranormal explanations yeah so is this a genuine vampire sighting or merely an elaborate hoax Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. He didn't give enough options. He said vampire sighting, elaborate hoax, or may, like I said, maybe, just maybe, they're actors <laughs> and they're on set for a movie or TV show. Can't rule that out. The legend of Bigfoot, the elusive ape-like creature that's captured the imagination of millions, has been rekindled after a recent Google Earth image revealed a mysterious figure in western Colorado. Conspiracy theorists are abuzz with excitement claiming Bruh, I know you're not trying to tell me this speckle of black on the screen is Bigfoot. That the shape spotted at these coordinates could be the mythical creature itself. Zoom in more. The image was shared on a Reddit community dedicated to Bigfoot sightings, that with the original help. poster questioning whether it could be a bear, a hiker without gear, or even a mere puddle. The figure, mm. estimated to measure around seven to seven and a half feet and appearing hunched over, is invisible in satellite images from other years, leading some to suggest that it might be mobile and not a stationary object. Ah, oh, that's interesting. That, I never even thought of that. You look at something on Google Earth, in different timelines to see if it was there before so you would if this is a, a seven foot puddle of some sort i don't know i don't i still don't know man that could be anything that could be the grass burnt one reddit user familiar with the area where the creature was spotted reported experiencing a creepy feeling in that particular location adding that they knew someone else that felt the same way the Bigfoot legend has persisted for centuries, with numerous reported encounters fueling the mystery. One of the most famous incidents is the Patterson Gimlin film from 1967, which purports to show a female Bigfoot walking through the woods in Northern California. Despite numerous investigations and analysis, the authenticity of the film remains a subject of hot debate. While it's impossible to confirm the identity of the figure spotted on Google Earth, the image has certainly reignited interest in the Bigfoot legend. As enthusiasts and skeptics alike weigh in on the possibility of its existence, the enduring mystery of Bigfoot continues to captivate and perplex the world.
This next video on our list is brief. It was uploaded to Instagram by user Green Coombe and appears to be an excerpt of footage captured from a police vehicle. It shows a police officer inspecting a property in the darkness with a flashlight. Take a look at what happens. Guttural scream echoes through the air. Yo, man. Hey, that's, that's one of the best clips on the internet, I swear to God, man. That's one of the best clips on the internet. Oh, my God. This man was like, nope, not me. <laughs> Yo, that cop heard that scream. He was like, no, nah, I am not about to investigate. Oh, snap. Oh, man. So what could be responsible for making this creepy sound? Yo, you're the cop, bro. You're supposed to go see somebody scream and they could be in serious trouble. But he was like, nah, that sounded paranormal. I wouldn't. They'll pay us for paranormal stuff. Was it some sort of animal or something paranormal? In Irish folklore, a banshee is a female spirit often associated with death in the afterlife. Sound her like presence is believed to be a harbinger of doom as her eerie wails, known as the banshee's cry, are said to foretell the imminent death of a family member. Typically depicted as a pale, ghostly figure with long flowing hair and wearing a white or grey cloak, the banshee can appear as a beautiful young woman. A hey, Willie gifted five channel memberships. We got five new channel members in the building. As an old crone, or even take the form of an animal, such as a crow. Sure She's I often seen him. combing her hair with a silver brush, a symbol of both vanity and death. Although the Banshee's cry may instill fear and dread, she's not considered inherently malevolent. Rather, her role is to serve as a messenger between the mortal realm and the spirit world, offering a forewarning to prepare the living for the impending loss of a loved one. Whenever I think of Banshees, I always immediately think of crying. A lesser known paranormal entity that's also said to emit a chilling scream is the Drekovac. The who? I ain't never heard of that. Oh, no, I, I just remember, y'all, there's other stuff that I'm supposed to be adding to the new collection. Hold on, let me do that while we're playing this. Originating from Slavic mythology, the Drekovac is a supernatural creature believed to be the restless soul of an unbaptized or improperly buried child. The name Drekovac translates to the screamer or the yeller in some South Slavic languages, a moniker earned due to its spine-chilling screams and wails that echo through the night. The Drekovac is often described as having a thin, elongated body with a disproportionately large head and sharp clawed limbs. It's said to dwell in the wilderness, graveyards or abandoned ruins emerging at night to haunt the living. Although the creature is generally considered to be malevolent, it's not necessarily harmful to humans. However, encountering a Drekovac is regarded as a bad omen and its cries are believed to foretell misfortune, illness or even death. To avoid encountering this eerie being, it's advised to steer clear of its known dwelling places, especially during nighttime hours. So, after considering this, it seems that the police officer might have made the right choice returning to his car. So, what would you do if you heard this terrible sound echoing through the darkness? Yeah, that Let kills me know me. down below. <sighs> A perplexing video clip has ignited a flurry of speculation and debate among Reddit users. Uploaded by user Ron Swayze, the footage captures an unusual occurrence during a lightning storm. Although the user didn't record the footage themselves, they turned to Reddit to seek answers for the strange phenomena observed in the clip. Watch what happens. It don't like it's pulsating. The footage shows a bolt of lightning hanging on the horizon at night time. Suddenly, an unidentified object appears to fall out of the sky. The sighting has prompted discussions about UFOs and theories that aliens may use lightning storms to refuel their crafts. A zoomed in version of the footage with adjusted brightness reveals the falling object to be spinning as it descends to Earth. 
the unusual nature of the ob I remember this clip to the iconic War of the Worlds. However, not everyone's convinced of its otherworldly origins. Some users suggest that the object could be a raindrop on a window in the foreground, creating an optical illusion that makes it appear as if the object is falling in the distance. Let me see it again. Yeah, One that could be a raindrop. First impression disagrees with the raindrop theory, noting, it looks to me like it appears from behind the dark cloud. There's no other moisture on the window and no visible water trail left behind as a drip might leave running down a window. Like as the debate continues to unfold, the true nature of the... Just because they said that don't mean there couldn't be no raindrop. ...mysterious object remains uncertain. Is it a UFO, evidence of alien activity, or simply a raindrop? With no definitive answers yet, the internet will continue to ponder this bizarre occurrence. I'm going with raindrop still. There it is. I was looking for that. Several years ago, Reddit user Adam Powers 22 shared a spine-chilling discovery made while renovating a newly purchased house. Upon pulling up the carpets in one of the bedrooms, the user unveiled a pentagram etched or carved into the polished floorboards beneath. The photo of the bedroom floor has left fellow Reddit users unnerved and intrigued, sparking discussions about the significance of pentagrams and their association with cults and devil worshippers. Historically, pentagrams have been used as a symbol in various cultures, religions and belief systems, with its meaning and significance evolving over time. In contemporary Western culture, the pentagram is often associated with occult practices, particularly when the symbol is inverted. In this context, it's frequently linked to Satanism and devil worship, leading to speculation that the Reddit user's new house may have once been a site for sinister rituals or gatherings. So what would you do if you found this under your carpets at home? Move. I watch enough horror movies. I'm moving. Let me know in the comments down below. That's literally a scene out of a movie. Pull up the carpet and find a pentagram. They they messing with you. The perceived ability of... Then you wonder why you experiencing all kinds of craziness in your house. Animals to sense the paranormal has long been a topic of fascination and intrigue. Throughout history, various cultures have attributed supernatural abilities to animals, believing they possess a heightened sensitivity to otherworldly forces. Anecdotes abound of pets reacting to unseen presences, often displaying signs of fear or curiosity in response to seemingly innocuous locations or objects. While definitive scientific evidence is yet to confirm these paranormal connections, the possibility that animals may have a heightened awareness of the ethereal realm continues to captivate the human imagination. In this video, we see several animals seemingly reacting to a potentially paranormal presence. What is it? The footage starts with a man calling out to one of his pet dogs, asking, what's the matter? Are you okay? Hey, what's the matter, girl? Come here. What's the matter? Are you okay? The dog appears to shy away from the door, seeking refuge under the bed. What is it? What is that, girl? As the man approaches another dog, it too seems frightened, its head lowered. Nah, I remember this clip. Something going on in that house. And God, how many times has this clip been shared on the internet? Because it doesn't turn into a Potato 99 clip. Speaking of, the Potato 99 plushies were showing out of stock on the website. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I just added 10 more. I think that's how many are left. The man then heads towards the kitchen where a cat appears to be gazing up at the ceiling before slowly slinking out of sight. It seems that something has the animals on edge, but what could it be? What is that? Suddenly, a loud bang echoes throughout the house. I think that's everything. I just added maybe six more items to the 2024 collection. Stuff that is part of the 2024 collection, I guess. Hesitantly, the man enters the attic, which is filled with various items. Quick sweep of the area reveals nothing out of place. 
If you know what I know. As he heads back down the stairs, another bang can be heard. The hell? The man re-enters the attic, placing the camera down before venturing further into the area. Take a look. He better than me. Next. I'm going to be up in now. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. We got 1,100 viewers in here? At this time of the night? Wait a minute. I don't have 1,100 channel members. Thanks, YouTube. I just figured it out. This is channel member chat only live stream. There's other people in here watching too. That's not channel members. So that means everybody get access to the website. <laughs> everybody is getting access to the website right now. Channel members are not. This is just channel members chat only live stream. Wow. YouTube need to do better with their little stuff stuff because why why i have to make that so difficult i click channel members only but what up miss harrison thank you for the fifty thousand dollar big baby what did she say she says good evening artie this weekend it's the weekend yeah i know that's right boy it's been a long week my god it's been a long week went to the, i went to the dentist and then the next day went to the doctor that was today the doctor a large red bucket topples over as if pushed by some sort of invisible force my man's ran made me run i was about to run too about this room right quick because i'm like why are we running why you black man see a, a person running she black person in a black person, period. We see somebody run, we go, we don't care. Why you running? You can be playing with us. We still gonna run. We'll find out why you playing with us later. Shit, we gonna run first. The man flees, inadvertently leaving his camera behind. That's when more strange activity is <sighs> recorded. <sighs> oh, oh, now the spirit moving the camera. Look, man, I'm, I'm a little jumpy today. I watched the freaking, freaky movie called talk to me on my patreon earlier today with y'all that movie had me messed up from the very first two minutes so did this man experience paranormal activity and if so were the animals able to detect a presence on the property what is that are your pets sensitive to the supernatural? Share your experiences with one another in the comments down below. You okay? What do you hear? No, Mandy, there's not supposed to be any 5011 time t-shirts yet. I can I can do 5011 time t-shirts, but really there were just hoodies. Oh, another thing, you guys, I wanna I wanna make this very, very, very clear. Um, when it comes to most of these hoodies, right? I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all just how exclusive these hoodies are. For it... Did I do that when I got scared? <laughs> <laughs> For any given design, I think there's five, maybe six hoodie designs. For every single design, three of the sizes in every design are limited to about five per size five to depending on the design this th yeah three of them are five per size and the other ones are like 10 per that's how limited these hoodies are i'm gonna tell you right now like size small is either five or ten i think it's only five five per size in the size small same thing with the four x and five x it's like five per size in those sizes and the rest of them are like 15 or 20 and they vary some of them are 10 but that's how limited any all of these hoodies are 
I'm just warning y'all now. You miss out on them if you want. I'm I'm not doing them hoodies again. I am not. This this whole process was so stressful. Y'all have no idea. <laughs> what is it? A mother of two believes she may have solved a 500-year-old murder mystery by capturing the ghostly face of 12-year-old Edward V in a photograph taken at the Tower of London. 40-year-old Mary Ryan was snapping pictures of the historic weapons on display during a family day trip when she unknowingly captured this eerie image. I, look, until you tell me what's eerie about it, I don't, I'm looking at what looked like a woman, her kid maybe, and a dude's hand, I don't know what the what. This, bruh. I need my potato 99 plushie right now because I can't deal with this. This is the... Man, what kind of camera are you taking pictures with? Is that a potato from 1659? Damn. Hold on. I need... Look, I can't even deal with it. Since I can't find my actual potato 99 plus yet, I'm just, I'm just gonna hold on to one still in the pack. <laughs> Yo, I got so many hoodies and blankets in this room, they didn't hit my plushies. See, I told y'all there was something left there. Not until she returned. They were showing, oh, it's the little boy. I thought that was, what's that boy named Ron, Ronald Reasley from, from Harry Potter? <laughs> I thought, I thought that was him when he was a kid. ...into her home in Liverpool that she noticed the face in the reflection. It's Ronald Weasley. Ryan thinks the ghostly face could be Edward V, who, along with his nine-year-old brother Richard, was sent to the tower by their uncle, King Richard III, in 1483. That was Ronald Weasley the first. The boys were never seen again, leading to the widespread assumption that they were murdered. Sir Thomas More, the 16th century statesman and historian, claimed that the princes were smothered by their uncle and buried within the tower. But this theory has never been proven, leaving their disappearance one of history's greatest murder mysteries. The haunting photograph has left Ryan's family freaked out since their visit to the tower in early 2015. The mother insists that there were no young boys in their group and the family was at the end of the line during their tour. According to Ryan, the boys' clothing, hair, and appearance look very old and reminiscent of the two young princes. The picture was taken in the White Tower, the central tower known as the Old Keep, and is considered the most haunted part of the landmark. While the family's not experienced any further paranormal activity since the trip, Ryan says she would love to return to the Tower of London, this time with a keener eye on her photos. Puzzling video of strange lights in the sky has recently emerged, capturing the attention of conspiracy theorists and curious onlookers alike. The exact location of the incident is unknown, but it's believed to have taken place somewhere in Asia. Take a look. Bro, something ain't right about that. What the? footage reveals what initially appears to be a strange anomaly in the sky, with the camera holder zooming in to reveal what looks like a graphical error or glitch in the sky. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, why is it that when it zooms in, it looked like a glitch of some sort? Almost like we're in the Matrix, man. Oh, that's crazy. And then there's multiple people there to see it. What if they all in on it? What if they all in on a prank and they trying to get us? This bizarre sighting has prompted a variety of theories ranging from Truman Show-esque damage to a hypothetical dome to a glitch in the Matrix. The glitch in the Matrix theory delves into the philosophical idea that we could be living in a simulation, with the strange sighting in the sky potentially being evidence of a malfunction in the simulated reality. This concept has been a popular subject of discussion and debate, with proponents arguing that it could explain various unexplained phenomena. The simulation hypothesis, also known as the simulation argument or simulation theory, is a philosophical concept that suggests our reality may be a computer-generated simulation. 
This idea, which has gained significant traction in recent years, posits that advanced civilizations could create highly sophisticated simulations of reality, possibly for research, entertainment or other purposes. As a result, it raises the question of whether our own reality is in fact a product of such a simulation. That's what I was just talking about. The simulation hypothesis can be traced back to earlier philosophical thought experiments such as Brain and Avat scenarios or Rene Descartes' evil demon argument. However, the modern form of the theory is often attributed to philosopher Nick Bostrom, who published a seminal paper in 2003 titled, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation? In the paper, Bostrom presents a trilemma which posits that one of the following propositions must be true. Number one. Almost all civilizations at our level of technological development go extinct before they develop the capability to create highly realistic simulations. Number two, advanced civilizations that reach the necessary level of technological sophistication are not interested in running ancestor simulations. Number three, we're almost certainly living in a computer simulation. <laughs> Three hypotheses that will lead us to believe that we're living in a a computer simulation. <laughs> Number one, all previous civilizations, mankind, animal kind, they never got to the point of creating a realistic simulation. No, this dude already don't sound smart. He's supposed to be real smart. <laughs> And then number three, it's just the likelihood that we're living in a computer simulation. Bro. Okay, sir. Oh, no, nah, number two it really got me. <laughs> this man said, yeah, a computer, a, a civilization that can create a computer simula simula simulation would not want or wouldn't be interested in simulating a like our ancestors or something like a, a, a primitive time. N nothing he said made any sense. It made me sound stupid repeating it. The simulation hypothesis has garnered support from various notable figures, including entrepreneur Elon Musk, who's famously stated that the odds of us living in a base reality are one in billions. Additionally, some physicists and cosmologists have pointed to certain features of our universe, such as the quantized nature of space-time, as potential evidence for a simulated reality. Hey Jeff, where, where would one find those, that tape? Jeff, where would one find those tape? You said look for the tape, what do I look for? It um, is on YouTube, or do I Google it? However, the theory has also faced its fair share of criticism. Critics argue that the hypothesis is untestable. Red yum yum bubblegum says she's seen it. During it more of a philosophical thought experiment than a scientific theory. Others contend that the ethical implications of simulating conscious beings would deter advanced civilizations from creating such simulations. Despite these criticisms, the simulation hypothesis continues to provoke thought and debate. While the notion of living in a simulated reality may seem unsettling or far-fetched, it encourages us to examine our understanding of reality and the limits of our own perceptions. So could this footage be a glimpse into a malfunctioning simulated reality? Take another look and decide for yourself. Oh, I found it. I'm gonna look at that. That looked interesting. Oh, we're gonna watch it on Patreon too. Take a look at this mysterious video shared on Instagram by Unanswered Universe. Oh Lord have mercy. When the car came, he stopped. He stopped in his tracks. And then he just disappeared. But why did it look like it went from daytime to nighttime like that when that happened? It's weird. The clear, seemingly a phone recording of some security camera footage from an unspecified location, appears to show a man vanishing just as a car passes by. Hey y'all, we're gonna be in here for another 45 minutes and I'm be shouting out everybody that's copping merchandise, getting pre-orders on the live stream. I'll be shouting you guys out at the end. It's on Pluto and Tubi. Okay, that's a bet. Thank you, Yum Yum Bubblegum. But yeah, we're gonna be shouting y'all out at the end of the live stream. Be on the lookout. 
Yeah, we got how many people we got here? Can't even tell. We got eleven hundred people up in here. Hit that like button for your boy. Y'all already doing good with six hundred likes. Let's see if we can get eight hundred by the end of this video. I think we can do it. I believe in y'all. Viewers of the video are perplexed and have proposed various explanations. Some suggest the footage has been edited, pointing to the partially visible timestamp. Others believe it might be a camera glitch. One commenter even posited a more mysterious theory, suggesting the man's disappearance is the result of a glitch in the simulation. So what do you think this video shows? Does the man genuinely vanish, or is there another explanation for the sighting? Share your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. This next video features another dog that might be able to detect the paranormal. The animal can be seen pacing around a dimly lit room, barking at some sort of presence. Right there this time. <laughs> Hello? I remember that. <laughs> Bro, I, this clip keep getting worse quality too, man. Hey, no, 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 <laughs> no, stay there. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> His reaction clip was- shared to TikTok by- his reaction, he wasn't scared enough for me. BK Project appears to capture a mysterious shadowy figure seated in a corner of the room. No, 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 <laughs> no, stay there. Hey. Oh he wasn't, he wasn't scared no. enough for me. It's okay. It's okay. The person filming asks the figure to stay there as they approach. However, as they do, the figure seems to stand and then vanish into thin air. No, stay there. Hey. The man then scans the area with the camera, but there's no trace of it anywhere. However, the dog continues to growl as if sensing its presence. Where is it's the okay. dog? I can't even see the dog. It's so dark. It's okay. While some viewers speculate that the video may be the result of special effects, others aren't so certain. They point to the dog's unease as evidence that the footage could be authentic. That dog might bark at everything. Ultimately, though, we'll leave this up to you, the viewer, to decide. Is the shadowy figure merely an elaborate hoax? Or does this video reveal something paranormal? Share your thoughts down below. Right, right there this time. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, stay there. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. This next one by Redditor Spiteguard1029 has left the online community both fascinated and disturbed by a creepy discovery made in an abandoned basement. The user, who was working alone in the basement grinding doors for an investor, shared an unsettling image of the dusty floor, which appears to show two distinct sets of footprints. While one of the prints clearly belonged to the uploader who was wearing work boots, the other was far more mysterious, bare footprints seemingly belonging to an unknown visitor. The Redditor claimed that they were all alone at the time and had neither seen nor heard anyone else in the building. One commenter, Papa Chocky Milk, observed that the unexplained footprints seemed to lead directly back to the exit, implying that the mysterious individual might have been discreetly watching the worker without fully stepping into the doorframe. This unnerving possibility has led to a wave of speculation among Reddit users, with some suggesting that the footprints could belong to a homeless person or, more chillingly, a ghost. As the debate continues, the online community is left to wonder who or what might have left the eerie bare footprints in the abandoned basement. A chilling trail cam video has taken the internet by storm over the past few weeks, with many viewers speculating that it might show a genuine sighting of the cryptid known as the Rake. Take a look. I'm so glad the 511 time hoodies are coming. Because that's about how many times we've seen this mess. <laughs> Uploaded to TikTok by user Cryptoker, the video features an unsettling long-limbed creature crawling in the distance on a rural property. 
Hey, y'all, look, if you're using the code to get into the website, the code is mafia only. One word, no caps. Whatever it is, it has disproportionately long legs and a small head, characteristics that have led some to believe it could be the infamous rake. This cryptid has its roots in modern urban legends and is believed to be a humanoid creature that stalks and terrorizes its victims. The rake's origins can be traced back to the early 2000s when stories and supposed encounters began circulating on internet forums. Recent sightings of the rake have been scarce, making this new trail cam footage all the more intriguing to cryptozoology enthusiasts. As the video gains traction, the debate over its authenticity intensifies. Could this really be evidence of the elusive rake, or is it simply an elaborate hoax designed to captivate the imagination of viewers? As with many cryptid sightings, the truth remains elusive. TikToker unofficial Chloe recently uploaded a series of news clips discussing the alarming rise of a deadly fungal infection, reminiscent of the apocalyptic storyline of The Last of Us. Whenever I hear fungal, I think feet. In cases reported in California. The second discusses a zombie fungus, a brain-eating fungus with the potential to turn people into zombies. The Candida auris fungus is causing severe illnesses in individuals with weakened immune systems spreading rapidly through US healthcare facilities. A recent study by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports a worrying increase in infections and carriers of the fungus. The CDC's new warning follows an outbreak in Mississippi that has infected at least 12 people and resulted in four potentially associated deaths since November. Candida auris primarily poses a threat to high-risk individuals such as residents of long-term care facilities. Approximately one-third of those who fall ill from the fungus ultimately die. Data from state and local health departments analysed by the CDC revealed that the number of infections increased by 59% from 2019 to 2020 Damn. and by another 95% in 2021. Moreover, the incidence of non-infected carriers also increased significantly, with a 21% increase in 2020 and a 209% increase in 2021. Damn. Candida auris has now been detected in over half of US states, with a growing number of samples resistant to common treatments. What? Wait, what? how do you get this? Half of the US, or half of, like, half of the states in the US can contract this thing? Healthcare providers are urged to practice good infection control to combat the fungus. And they don't really got no treatment for it? Ugh. Which can survive on surfaces and colonize patient rooms. As candida aura spreads throughout hospitals and long-term care facilities, parallels to the end of day scenario in The Last of Us may seem chilling. While a fungal apocalypse may be unlikely, the rapid spread of candida aura serves as a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance and infection control in healthcare settings. The paranormal encompasses a vast array of phenomena that defies conventional understanding. Facts. Rooted in experiences that seem to transcend the boundaries of the physical world, paranormal events challenge the very foundations of our reality, inviting speculation and debate. This realm of the unexplained has captured the human imagination for centuries as people have sought to comprehend its origins and discern its implications. The paranormal's elusive nature, coupled with its striking ability to tap into deep-seated fears and curiosities, fuels a sense of wonder and intrigue that continues to captivate both viewers and skeptics alike. The following video, shared to Reddit by user aggravatingweird4030, shows a disconcerting incident for which they sought an explanation. 
The clip was supposedly recorded at their grandparents' house in France in 2019, when no one else was present. Okay. They decided to review the security camera footage only after the alarm was triggered, prompting the security company to reach out and ensure everything was fine. Firstly, the lamp mysteriously turns on and begins to flicker. This is closely followed by the doors closing, seemingly all by themselves. The light continues to flicker before a bowl slides across the table. A few seconds later, a chair begins to move. The uploader says they have no explanation for what's seen in the video. They wonder if the events are truly paranormal or if they could be the result of something else, like an earthquake. So we'll throw this one over to you, the audience. What do you think's responsible for this unnerving footage? Let your theories rip with one another in the comments down below. The final video on our list, uploaded to Instagram by user Green Coombe, is undoubtedly perplexing. The lack of context for the clip only adds to its mystery. Take a look. Yo, my man just sitting up there watching. Yo, that looked creepy. A small creature with a dog-like face appears to be sitting on a ledge. Its legs crossed as if intently watching the action below. We've seen that mess before too though. I ain't even gonna hold you. It's been noted that the peculiar creature doesn't seem to move while being filmed, which suggests it could be a puppet or figurine. Regardless of what the creature might be, its creepy appearance is undeniable. Imagine you were a competitor standing on the blocks awaiting the starter's gun only to look up and catch a glimpse of this thing. A spine-chilling video that's haunted the internet for years has once again resurfaced thanks to TikToker La Pesta del Terra. The footage, which appears to show a classroom somewhere in South America, has captured the attention of ghost enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Yeah, we got about 17 minutes left to this video with current 700 likes, 1200 live viewers, and we can get 900 likes. I'll do another video. In the video, what? everything seems perfectly normal at first glance, but soon things turn a little strange. Inanimate objects start inexplicably moving around the room. Bit by bit, the activity gets worse. For real. Somebody said, poor fella, look like he been through it. Uh, for facts. Well, this unsettling event has led some to believe that the footage is evidence of a poltergeist at work. The video's resurgence has revived discussions surrounding urban legends about schools being haunted by ghosts. Cross cultures, stories of ghostly sightings and paranormal activity in educational institutions have persisted for generations, often capturing the imagination of students and locals. These tales range from restless spirits of former students or teachers to malevolent entities that have become attached to the school's grounds. In some cases, the legends are rooted in tragic events or long forgotten histories, while others may simply be products of vivid imaginations. Regardless of one's stance on the matter, the haunted classroom video serves as a chilling reminder of the enduring fascination with ghost stories and urban legends, particularly in the context of schools. 
Is this a real life example of ghostly activity caught on camera, or merely another chapter in the ever evolving lore of haunted schools? The debate, it seems, will continue to haunt us. Hey y'all, real quick, another thing I forgot to tell y'all. What the heck? Did I just do that? Has my screen been cropped like this the whole time? No way. Has it been like that the whole time? I swear I've been looking over and I didn't notice that. Y'all let me know if it's been like that the whole time. Did we definitely do another video after this? What the freak? Anyway, so... For everybody that has been pre-ordering on the website right now, you're gonna get a free sticker. If you got whatever hoodie that you got, you're gonna get a sticker to go along with that hoodie. All right, just letting y'all know. If you got the big face hoodie, go get the big face sticker. Karen hoodie, Karen sticker, alien hoodie, alien sticker. Bro, for real. Was my shit crop? That's messed up. How come I didn't even see that? Oh, it was. During high school, Redditor Desperate Meal 2255 embarked on an adventure with several friends to explore the old oh, west. I know why I couldn't see it because every time I looked over here, it was during a section where the the footage was dark, and I thought that was like how it was supposed to look. <laughs> But luckily, some of the stuff was like TikTok stuff, so it didn't crop anything out. Oh, my God. The only video it really affected was that video of them in the classroom. Well, at least as far as I can see. That's crazy. The Methodist Hospital in Coos Bay, Oregon. They'd heard rumors that the place was haunted, so they couldn't resist seeing it for themselves. Let me get another video together. Constructed in 1925, the Wesley Methodist Hospital in Coos Bay, Oregon is a century-old former medical facility steeped in mystery and local law. At one point, it was purchased by the Sisters of Mercy, who renamed it the Macaulay Hospital. And in 1982, the facility was transformed into the Ken Keyes College. However, since that time, the property has experienced periods of degradation and abandonment. Once a bustling institution providing care to the community, it now stands as a haunting testament to the passage of time. We're going to find a good long goose pimple video for y'all. The structure enveloped by an eerie atmosphere. Destination for urban explorers and thrill seekers, drawn to the site by tales of paranormal encounters and ghostly apparitions. The Redditor claims that they and their friends spend hours wandering through the eerie halls of the property, and after exploring the entire hospital, they congregated on one level. There, they began playing some creepy music to set the atmosphere. Though nothing extraordinary occurred before leaving the property, they took photos down each hallway. The following day, they discovered a chilling image among the photographs they had taken. Let me see it. A woman appeared to be peeking around the corner. We just saw this in the last video. The poster notes that it was impossible for it to be one of them as everyone was accounted for. The poster says that while the experience was unsettling and strange, they can't say it convinced them of the paranormal. They believe it's more plausible that someone was observing them from the shadows. For people that are saying they need the password to the website, it's at the top. It's at the top. It's pinned at the top. Folks, this is the word of God. This is the, the Holy Bible. I don't know about that. I think that was... It, it might have some words of God in there, but I don't think it got all of them. To Paul Begley, a prominent figure known for his engaging sermons and online presence, recently uploaded a video that left viewers both intrigued and unnerved. We done seen this 50, 11 times. I wonder if he think this was God or a positive spirit that did this. In the brief clip, Begley's filming an update for his congregation when something eerie happens in the background. Heaven, you take a look. And that's what these guys are doing. They're dealing with the word of God. Almighty. Was that guy? As the pastor speaks about the devil, a crucifix suddenly falls off a cabinet in the background, seemingly without any cause or provocation. 
That scared him. I don't think he thinks that was God. The strange incident has sparked intense debate among viewers, with some speculating that it could be the work of a demon attempting to threaten or intimidate the pastor. Others, however, are dismissing the incident as a mere coincidence, such as a gust of wind or an unstable surface on which the crucifix is placed. Pastor Paul Begley, known for his charismatic and captivating sermons, often delves into topics related to faith, spirituality, and the ongoing battle between good and evil. The unexpected occurrence in this video has piqued the interest of both his followers and skeptics alike, stirring discussions on the supernatural and the extent of its influence in our everyday lives. Reddit user Justin Swift recently uploaded a series of unnerving images that have left fellow Redditors feeling both alarmed and puzzled. The photos depict a large knife seemingly hidden on top of an emergency light in the communal stairwell of the uploader's apartment complex. Sheesh. In their post, the Reddit user described how they discovered the knife and decided to document the bizarre find. I think it's huge. They were going to do some damage with that mess. They mentioned that their wife advised against touching the knife in case it was linked to a crime and had potential evidence, such as fingerprints. The user then called the police, who arrived to investigate the scene. Interestingly, the officer found what appeared to be dirt on the knife, leading them to believe it may have been used to dig up something. Adding an unexpected twist to the unsettling tale, the uploader later realised that their wife had unknowingly photobombed the shop. That's your wife? What the freak is she doing? Oh my god, she's scary looking, bro. I know you scared of her. On. Pressing her face up against the small window in the background. Mm -mm. The Redditor had been so focused on capturing the perfect angle of the hidden knife that they hadn't noticed her at the time. The chilling discovery in the question of who could have placed the knife in such an odd location has left the online community intrigued and a little on edge. With no clear answers yet, the apartment residents and fellow Redditors alike are left to wonder about the mysterious origins and intentions behind the knife's placement. Not me. Dogs and other animals are often considered more in tune with the paranormal, and this viral video posted by Reddit user DKid75 seems to support this idea. Take a look at what unfolds. <laughs> Give me that, <laughs> the four-legged friend appears visibly unnerved, quickly turning around and barking after seemingly being pushed by an unseen presence. <laughs> Dang, man. It does kind of like he was pushed. Even though he could have just did that little slide himself, same time it looked like he was pushed. I'm going to say this too. I ain't even pick up on this clip the last time we saw this, but the way he barking is weird. I ain't never seen a dog bark down like that before. According to the Redditor, this wasn't the only creepy occurrence in the house. The family believes they were sharing their home with a ghostly female presence who bore a striking resemblance to the poster and her middle daughter with the same height and dark brown hair. DKid75 recounts an unsettling late night incident where she thought she saw her daughter walk out of the bathroom. However, when she went to her daughter's room, she found her fast asleep hey, in Daniel. her bed. After keeping the encounter to herself, her husband had a similar experience the following evening. He saw what he believed to be his wife standing in their bedroom, while simultaneously hearing her voice and laughter coming from the kitchen. Nope, not me. The family eventually moved out of the house, but the footage remains as potential evidence of their paranormal experiences. The poster describes the dog's sliding incident as pretty wild, noting that they didn't fully realise what had happened until they watched the video later on. So what do you make of this eerie experience? Could this family really have been haunted by some kind of ghostly presence? Let me know your theories on this one in the comments down below. <laughs> The fear of snakes, also known as aphidiophobia, is a common phobia that affects a significant portion of the population. This fear can be attributed to various factors, including the instinctive aversion to potentially dangerous creatures, cultural conditioning, and personal experiences. Snakes are often portrayed as sinister or menacing in literature. How come I felt that? I felt like something big like that coming out of my nose just looking at this. 
Jar mythology and popular culture, which may contribute to the development of this fear. For some individuals, the mere sight or thought of a snake can evoke intense feelings of anxiety, panic, or even physical symptoms such as increased heart rate and shortness of breath. While the majority of snake species are harmless, the fear of encountering dangerous varieties can exacerbate this phobia. What he just said as far as what people experience because of their fear of snakes, I feel like that can apply for every phobia there is. The same symptoms. While many possess this phobia, some clearly do not, like the woman seen in this footage posted to Reddit by user Amy2Kim22. Bro, that's so crazy. She got this dang on snake head sitting in her lap like it's a dang on little pet or something. Woman, this snake can swallow four of you. She is crazy. Bro, if that snake decide he want to tighten himself around her, she's... In the video. It's going to take a village to free her, literally. We see a large snake slithering its way towards the woman who seemingly pays it no attention whatsoever. Man, that thing is all muscle. That's crazy. The giant reptile even makes its way onto the woman's lap as if expecting to be petted like a cat. Bro. While several commenters noted that the snake is actually a reticulated python and not an anaconda as the description suggests, no one seemed to be able to provide an explanation for the snake's presence or for the nonchalant demeanour of the woman. Reticulated pythons are the longest snakes in the world with some specimens measuring up to an impressive 10 metres, which is around 32.8 feet in length. How do he gonna say that? 30 feet? God, could you imagine? Oh my God, 30 freaking feet? I, I lied, that thing can swallow six of her. <laughs> Indigenous to South and Southeast Asia, this python species not only holds the title for length, but also ranks among the top three heaviest snakes in the world. Bro, I bet it weigh like a ton. The reticulated python is among the few snakes that actually prey on humans, while these large- Uh-huh, yeah, she let that thing crawl up in her lap like it wasn't gonna eat her and they prey on humans, heck no. Nah. What, could you imagine? Bro, that's some dang on. What's that movie, Anacondas? And this is not even an Anaconda, it's a python. Bro, a snake this big hunting you? I'm gonna call 911 because I'm gonna need police help. <laughs> I'm like, yo, luckily I got, I got, I got plenty of guns. I'm gonna shoot. All my bullets at that snake. Constrictors are non-venomous and prefer to avoid confrontation. There have been several instances of attacks on humans. Sorry, I meant to say pew pew. <laughs> the primary danger associated with reticulated pythons lies in their powerful constriction abilities, which they use to subdue and suffocate their prey before consuming it. In December 2013, a 59-year-old security guard was strangled Yo, this thing is beautiful. to death while trying to capture a python near the Bali Hyatt, an upmarket hotel on Indonesia's resort island. He went smart. The incident occurred around 3 a.m. as the 15-foot reptile was seen crossing a road near the hotel. The victim had volunteered to help capture the snake, which had been spotted several times in the Sanua Bali area before escaping back into nearby bushes. In 1995, a 15-year-old boy from Sirian, Malaysia was also killed by a reticulated python while working on a rubber plantation. Also the python, smart. measuring 23 feet in length, had coiled itself around the boy, suffocating him. The boy's father discovered the snake attempting to swallow his son before managing to kill the reptile. Mm, poor thing. So then, why is this woman seen in the video allowing this reticulated python to get so close? The answer crazy. to that remains a mystery. My, my 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 assumption is she's had that snake since he was a baby. That's her pet snake. I don't know where she keep him at, but that's her pet snake. She's had him since he was like fresh cracked out of egg that big. <laughs> Yo, how big is the snake? How big is the egg of that snake, man? That that egg, that baby come out that egg already the size of a king cobra. It's not no edit. That was real snake, cuz. 
Big boys. This next video, uploaded to TikTok by TV, was supposedly captured on surveillance camera as the man seen was leaving for work at 4am. Watch the passenger seat closely as he opens the car door. There appears to be someone or something sitting alongside him. Reminiscent of Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th series, it looks like a figure dressed in dark clothing wearing some sort of mask. Can you see that? Some have proposed that the figure could merely be an eerie instance of pareidolia, potentially resulting from light reflecting off the car's windshield. This idea, combined with the fact that the figure doesn't appear to move throughout the footage, implies that it's just a visual illusion. Whatever the reason, this video is likely enough to make you double check your car's seats next time you have an early morning start. Reddit user. The fact that he didn't like look, I mean, he drove off like that, so it must have, it had to have been pareidolia, unless it was a spirit uh, our that we couldn't see, that he couldn't see. Major Sector 67 recently shared an eerie photo taken by their hunting trail cam. The black and white image, captured on the 31st of the 10th, 2020, displays the edge of the uploader's yard, leading into denser wooded land. Interestingly, the photo features an un. I ain't gonna lie, I'm always skeptical whenever something gets captured on camera on Halloween. I had to think about what he said. He said this image was captured on the, the 31st of the 10th. I'm like, what is he talking about? 2020, I'm like, what did he just say? Why, why couldn't he say just October 31st, 2020? I'm a skeptic, because what am I looking at here? It looked like a person with an oversized t-shirt and some wet, round, weird hat on their head. Unusual apparition resembling the torso of a woman wearing a hat and dress. Oh, dress, maybe. The uploader, who had recently moved into a new development on an old farm north of Minneapolis, mentioned that they initially suspected the neighbor's six-year-old child of playing a prank. However, according to the poster, two other photos taken by the trail cam showed no sign of the child or any other person in the vicinity. Fellow Redditors were intrigued and disturbed by the image, with many speculating that the strange figure could be a ghost. Yo, Robert, that's a good one. Hey, that last clip where the dude had that thing in the car with him, Robert was like, nah, we gonna, we gonna hop in the carpool lane with... However, others were quick to point out that the photo was captured on Halloween, leading some to dismiss the image as a well-timed hoax. That's what I said. The uploader claims they were unaware of the Halloween connection at the time the photo was taken. Of course you're gonna say that. Oh, I wasn't even thinking it was Halloween when I caught that. You a lie. You a bold-faced lie. Ooh. Ooh, you you can't no you can't no no you a lie you a lie. So the debate continues as the online community grapples with the question of whether the mysterious figure is a supernatural phenomenon or simply the result of a Halloween prank. With no definitive answers yet, we'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, for final judgment. Halloween lie. Oh, we're getting close to the end of the live stream, the pre-orders for all the new merchandise. It's 42 items added to the store. 42. Your boy spent all day working on that stuff. But the pre-orders are available right now and will be available for the next week. Um, it's going to be probably about close to a month before everything gets here. So go ahead and snatch up what you can while you can. Well, I bet this is alien related. Just like the previous photo, the following mysterious footage was also captured in Coos Bay, Oregon. Oh. On April 5th, 2023, four hunters recorded this bizarre video as they approached a clearing along a trail. Bruh, I thought this was 
1943. How is this 2023 looking like this? And in the United States, what camera did you go out there with? Footage shared to Reddit by Flimsy Union 1524 depicts a square or rectangular object that seems to be floating in the air. Head. The strangest aspect of one of the eyewitnesses' account is that none of the hunters remember the event. They claim to have only discovered the footage while reviewing random video clips. In the footage, the hunters are seen observing the object, but they all seem to walk away nonchalantly as if witnessing such a sight was a routine occurrence. After reviewing the video, the eyewitness noted that the object appears to be about 300 feet away and hovering approximately 50 feet above the ground. So what is this mysterious object? An alien craft, secret military technology, and why do the hunters all have no memory of the event? Unfortunately, the answers to these questions and more continue to remain elusive. There were some more details about this situation too. I can't remember specifically what it was, but it was something, something interesting happened there with those guys when they were there to visit that location. Y'all, one of my favorites, one of my new favorites that we're about to check out next, Goose Pimples. You, why? Because he keep it a buck. He spot and call out the same stuff that we be calling out and more. So we're about to check him out. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm almost ready. I seen it. Y'all, this is top 10 scary videos to prove you're brave. We're gonna be here a while. Let's go. Bike ride is a fantastic way to get the adrenaline pumping. But when these guys swooped around the trail they were on, they sensed something wasn't quite right. And their suspicions were proved correct when they watched the footage back. I know some of y'all was waiting for me to do them shout outs right now, but y'all gonna have to wait until the end of this this video. Y'all might have to come back and catch a shout out tomorrow. Cause we late. It's wait. What's this? Midnight? Ooh. You could argue that it is some branches amalgamating into a strange shape and tricking our eyes. But since when did branches have eyes, faces, and veils? The guys saw this and ignoring the chills that- Nah, that was standing there. I saw that. That's crazy. On their spines, headed back out to the same spot to see if they could catch it once more. Bro, y'all saw that in your camera and y'all decided to go back to see if you could find it again? Some people's real special. Some people on the spectrum. Howdy. Some people is on the spectrum. What? Acá está en árbol en medio del sendero. Dicen que este, este puede ser, pero no creo, eh. A ver, hazte un poquito para allá. Adelante, hijo. Ah. No, pues no se ve nada, ¿no? There was nothing there but a tree. We don't know where this video is taken exactly, so we can't look into any legends or reports of that trail. But one thing is for certain, we wouldn't be biking down there anytime soon if we were there. Not me. Found a creepy video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, if you enjoy scary videos like this, subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification every time we upload a new one. Number nine, under the bridge. There are so many urban legends about strange humanoid figures, from the rake to all manner of skinwalkers. It's enough to petrify anyone into triple checking all their locks at night. But that isn't enough to keep yourself safe if you're anything like this guy, and your idea of fun is exploring the back rooms. If you missed it, don't worry, it's pretty hard to spot. So let's slow it down and zoom in. 
there aren't really any defining features we can see in the split second the figure shows itself. We can't blame the guy, because if we thought some half-human, half-paranormal punch in the face was after us from under a bridge, we would be running for our lives too. But the problem here is that this could have been absolutely anything. We could make our arms and some sort of torso, but for all we know, it could have been a homeless person. That's what I... See, that's why we like goose pimples, because I was thinking the same thing. I was like, truth be told, the way it moved, the features that we could sort of make out, more than likely it's a homeless person, because I doubt that this is an area where they got monkeys. Some kids hanging out, or even an animal. Or does this video prove the age-old legend of the troll under the bridge? I like that. I like Maybe that idea. Does. What do you think? Paranormal or something else? Let us know. Number eight, Space Odyssey. Being an astronomer, you could find all sorts in outer space. Jerry, thank for the fact that I don't know. Could be alien life, several new galaxies, or weird red lights. At least that's what this amateur astronomer discovered traversing the surface of the moon. Alien! Alien's real! Pre order for hoodies available now. Over on the They Did The Math subreddit, they figured out that if this object were real, it would measure 33 miles across and could be moving at over 118,000 miles per hour across the surface of the moon. And last time we checked, there weren't any glowing red satellites shaped like pyramids circling the moon. Although as creepy as it looks at first glance, some suspicious things about it might leave you questioning the authenticity of this phenomenon. Another amateur astronomer mentioned that the actual video itself doesn't make sense since the moon was in its 50% phase. But there were no shadows in the craters as if the moon was in its full phase. The frame rate of the red light and the atmospheric haze is also completely mismatched according to another amateur astronomer. The red light has a clean edge and is nowhere near as pixelated as the rest of the video. There is also one- Ah, dang, that, that's very true. Yo, see, look, that's what I like, man. That's what I like. Goose pimples, baby. All right, that's 100% correct. You see it. The rest of this video is pixelated. Everything around this red haze is pixelated, right? All this, you see the pixels, but not on the red haze, you don't. None of this. That's crazy. They caught that mess. I love that. Jeff asked, uh, have I been to Netherworld? No, have I? No, not yet. I've always wanted to go. Plated as the rest of the video. I went somewhere last year, a haunted house thing. I, I can only imagine Netherworld probably gonna be just like it. it wouldn't even scare. It was called Thirteen Stories. That's where I went. I went to Thirteen Stories last year. That jump was weak. There is also one more elephant in the room. Millions of people, including NASA themselves, monitor the moon every day like clockwork. Surely, if this video were truly showing some kind of alien spacecraft, this video would have been all over the news and we would all know about it. However, this video was also reported on multiple other subreddits where many left comments saying how shocked they were with how real this footage looks. But what is your take on this one? Is this a little bit of video manipulation? Just love. Remind, well, make sure you email me so I can go in there and fix your address. Or are we seeing 2001 A Space Odyssey playing out in real life? Crazy. Number seven, tunnel vision. The deep, dark depths of a random tunnel never really promise any nice surprises at the end. And yet, people still go cavorting down them. This supposed photographer managed to get himself into a right state when he saw what was following just behind him. Darkness. Wait, some look familiar here. Kinda. Yeah.
got over 1,300 live viewers in here after midnight. That's crazy. We just hit 900 likes. Thank y'all. I think we can do 1,000 by the end of this live stream. We still in here. We st <laughs> Run! 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 According to the video, this footage was found on a... I don't remember this, honestly. I thought I did. ...smartphone that had been left behind somewhere near the tunnel. And it was the last video... Yo, this man dropped his phone and somebody found it? Oh, he got got... It got him. Yo, the owner captured before he took his last breath. Woo! If you do a little bit of digging, you will find a video from the same channel that shows two guys exploring that very place. Oh, they Asians. That's the same tunnel? They don't look the same. Uh, maybe because he got better cameras. Good flashlight, too. Nice. It is sandwiched between some very busy motorways and expressways in Japan, and is surrounded by mostly scrapyards, according to them. As creepy as this is, it gives no details on the figure we saw in the last video, considering it was so still and we only saw it for a split second. No idea what it could be. But there is one thing that sets us on edge about it. When the guys were exploring the tunnel a few days after finding the video, they stumbled upon a broken umbrella that had been cast aside. Which is the same umbrella the guy dropped as he ran away in the original video. So we have someone's last moments caught on camera. The last thing they saw was a weird shadow figure and the umbrella they were holding was still lying crumpled where they dropped it. Could this video be real? Did that shadow, whatever it was, take someone's life? Number six, babysitter. Anybody with kids will tell you that you know something is up when the house goes quiet. So when the noise stopped in this woman's house, she snuck over to check on her son with her camera, praying to all the saints that her son was reading, rather than covering the room in baby powder. But instead of catching him bouncing off the walls, she caught something much worse. What? That's that window pretty high too though. And whatever that was was tall, just standing up there like nothing. In the daytime. Who or what the hell was that? And more importantly, why would it be peeking through the toddler's window? Are they being stalked by a skinwalker? A ghost? Or worse? I ain't no skinwalkers could be black. That was black. Peeping Tom from down the road. What a creep. Number five, sticky fingers. Kids wander around touching all sorts of stuff they shouldn't be touching. And you can usually tell it was them by looking at those sticky little handprints. This is what YouTuber Skateboard Chris found on his drum cymbal, except he doesn't have any kids. Skateboard Chris, huh? And just to be clear, there's no air. There's nothing on right now. Shut up. Can't move that again for me. Those are freaking tiny. The two-way recording is the freakiest thing, because while he could have attached some kind of wire to the symbol, how would he have cheated tiny child-sized handprints in the dust without us seeing anything? Unless something otherworldly did smack it. But alongside smacking the drums and leaving prints, this supposed spirit also enjoys fiddling with the Christmas decorations. Interesting. Not the nutcracker. 
think he's ready to crack some nuts. See that? <laughs> Dogs big chilling on the couch. Oh, they both react. One thing that never lies is the reaction of an animal. Facts. And both those dogs were not happy. At the same time. How did the picture shift so smoothly? Oh. After months of this sort of activity running around them, he managed to finally capture some ghostly audio. Oh, I remember this. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> Listen real close. It sounds like a kid talking. According to Chris's wife, she thought it said, Hey Chris, is this the tiny ghostly perpetrator who touched the drums? Probably, considering in the- So, they be having so much stuff happen in their house. Because this, I've never seen this clip before, but we've seen maybe four or maybe five different clips from their house at this exact same angle stuff always happening in skateboard chris house this next clip it appeared to be looking for games on chris's phone look at his phone scrolling by itself this is creepy i wish a ghost would just take my phone over like that and just start scrolling but for argument's sake, if this video is real, the signs are leaning towards this being the playful spirit of a child. This is further justified by the next clip, because what do kids love to do on chairs? Swing on them. And that's exactly what he caught. When he went to watch the footage from a different camera angle, it came up with an error message, even though he said his internet was working fine at the time. This is the other clip we saw. One of them. This could happen for any number of reasons, but it's especially spooky considering all the other activity in the house. And it doesn't stop there. Not even the dogs are safe. Poor little... Nah, something happened to that doggy. I don't remember this clip. He checked, and there was nothing sharp that he could have sat on. Or he always could have just sat down funny and put pressure on his leg or something. You can't deny that it looks like something pulled his back end. With the whole house seemingly under the rule of a terrifying ghostly toddler, Chris wants nothing more than to be able to kick back and relax. He said, uh, ghostly in a house toddler. with kids, real or metaphysical, that's never an option. Facts. That wasn't supposed to happen. We featured Chris on the channel last year, but that was before he posted pictures of the house. Pictures he found online, took before he bought it. And boy, did it make some sense. They had a crucifix in every room, what? The people that own the house before, they, they must have had some experiences too. Look at that. Another crucifix. Yo, that's crazy. Is that another one? Did y'all see that? Look right here. Look who's in the corner over here. Man, they didn't tell him about this house. Maybe the family before were just really religious but they were doing that out of a love for Christianity. Or were all the crucifixes a desperate attempt to ward off whatever spirits Chris is now dealing with? If it is the latter, he should probably follow in their footsteps because something keeps on messing with all his house cams. Yeah, yeah, if I was him, I'd go get a bunch of crucifix, some sage, a priest. I don't know what to do, y'all. 
That camera ain't gonna do nothing to save you. This is all the kids know. I try to connect them. Right now, baby. What you doing? Okay. But yeah, this is how it keeps doing. It looked like it's recording, my guy. A flashing red light usually means recording. But he proclaims the camera's been down for a whole month. Um, but I caught something at the one minute mark. I've been trying to uh Get it connected and stuff, but it won't do anything. Again, camera issues are pretty common, but he says he used to be an electric service and product manager, so he knows how to fix tech, and nothing is working. So, what keeps shutting them down? Sunrise, wake up, you can't fall asleep before me. <laughs> the pretty widespread theory that spirits can mess with video and audio interfaces. Max. Could that be what's happening here? After another few ghostly experiences, Camera's not working. It just won't. When it says there's a video or motion, when I go to view the video, it's just a black screen, so I don't know what to. Uh... Chris decided to do the one thing he almost definitely shouldn't have done and whipped out a Ouija board. And he ended up catching even more EVP audio amongst some disembodied tapping. That boy brought out a Ouija board. That wasn't about the dumbest thing he could have did. I heard it, but I, I didn't see it. Everybody's like, oh, it's the hutch. It's the hutch. Woo! That wasn't no hutch. If you look at the tripod, there's a cord wrapped around the top that is swinging and bashing against it, causing the tapping noise. How could it be swinging that hard when nobody was even close to it? I didn't even and notice that. Knocked it over. Hutch. I didn't even notice. The audio is what takes the cake with this, though. Have a good listen. Dang, it got loud and scarier with each help. Everybody's like, oh, it's the hutch. Is the hutch. Quite a few commenters said that they heard the words get out whispered. But what did you hear? It's After hutch. that, Chris fell on hard times and went to stay at his parents' house. But it looks like something followed him. What the dog looking at? Bro, this dog just staring into the corner over there. Beautiful dog. This dog actually <laughs> stretched out and then went back over there and just keeps staring. And my man just recorded for a hot minute, too. Dogs are as much cute as they are weird, and sometimes do things we can't explain. But the fact she's looking directly at the mural suggests she sees something we don't. Did the spirit in his home latch onto him? Or is there another spirit lurking in his parents' house, waiting for him to start recording? Chris has captured plenty of brilliant paranormal footage over the years, so check out his channel, Skateboard Chris, on YouTube to watch it all. Number four, beam me up, Scott. If you enjoyed our latest video, here's a little more alien footage to get you thinking about dusting off that tinfoil hat. Yes? Just a pre-warning, this isn't a scene from Star Trek. Aliens, beam me up. He got beamed right up. With a quick, this is Fred dipped out.
Oh, you guys. So I was told something super exciting today. So I went to my holistic doctor today, right? And he has. He was like, I want to show you something cool. And I'm not. I didn't know what to expect, but he took me into this back room in this doctor's office and here lay this pod and it like opened up. It looked like so futuristic. It was a pod and it had like this little thin like little bed thing in there and like a pillow and you just lay back on this pod and it closes over you and like you're supposed to use it to like kind of like tap in, you know, to like your, I don't know, it's like law of attraction law of vibration the spiritual realm he was like you only be in there for about 30 minutes and he was like there was a, a button like emergency exit button you press that button if you're like you know you want to get out you're freaking out because you you might see some stuff in there it's like you could see people from your past your ancestors or you know people that you've lost or you might see extraterrestrials like aliens because we're connected to them as well like these are his words like this is what my doctor told me today i was like i gotta try it <laughs> so when i go back i'm gonna try it i'm gonna get in that pod like and he was like he was like there's only been one time where somebody pressed the button because they were freaking out and they had to get out it was like it was a lady she saw her ex-husband or something um i don't want to get into the details of that it was pretty interesting but oh my god I, I, I can't wait I want some aliens it was like you have to set the intention and you have to focus on what it is that you want I was like alright I want aliens bruh did that thing just push him down in the ground hey why he running like that they both run funny if this is real, then this is the best proof of alien abductions the world has ever seen. Sure, the video could so easily be edited. Easy. The person just despawns and spawns back again by the looks of it. Did Scotty beam him up? Or have the ones up there been playing too much World of Warcraft? Did they, they gonna put him right back where they got him from? Do you think? No need to beam me up, sir. The situation it is sucks when you got footage this bad. It's easily to mask it and hide imperfections in your bad editing number three weird looking dog the history of cryptids is unfathomably yep i'm sleepy all right it's been a long day wretch almost every horrible murderous creature you could imagine Ew. in the deepest depths of your mind what is nasty. probably a real life cryptid according to the narrative around them. so when this guy started hearing his worst nightmare following him out on his walks he pressed record in hopes it would prove he was just imagining things. Y'all, yeah, we're about to hit 1,400 live viewers. We got 27 new channel members in here tonight. And we're 20 likes shy from 1,000 likes. What? Unfortunately, it was all as real as it gets. I'm already creeped out. It's dark. The light's about to go away in a couple of steps. You're gonna be walking. You're gonna be walking in straight darkness. I don't like it. Don't don't do it. Get a flashlight. I guess that'll do. My phone light. Dang, bro, how you get in the woods? You got lost. You went from sidewalk to woods. I don't think you' supposed to be there. Oh, that pile of junk scared me. I thought it was a man. Did I hear hissing? Wait, is he outside or inside still? Bruh, leave right now. That does not sound human. Oh, snap, run! Oh, there's two of them. What the hell is that? We only got a glimpse of whatever the hell that was. Oh, they're like a, a, a homeless man. Honestly. And while there's still always the chance this was a dog who managed to get up to the roof of the barn, something about the video just doesn't sit right. Especially when these are the noises it makes. Gemini Queen, you know I will. I can't, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Y'all, we done hit a thousand likes. Thank y'all, baby. Bro, 
bro. They oops. They walking through that way too calmly to be hearing that that close to them. That John loud. Yeah. It's gonna eat you. Doesn't sound like any dog we know about. <laughs> Number two, surprise. Snowy night drives are stressful enough as it is, with all the tires slipping and impaired vision. But this person had something else to worry about when they saw a figure waiting for them in the middle of the road. This was in my jump scare compilation. Y'all remember when this scared the mess out of me some years ago? Sorry for the jump scare there, but it was so terrifying we couldn't ignore it. There is no backstory for this video. It was posted on a channel that only has free videos, including this one, and it has no description. As spooky as it is, it does look like something from a horror film, doesn't it? Somebody in the comments even asked if it was from a film, and the OP liked the comment. Suggesting that they don't even know where the clip came from. Do you think this is real footage of a slit mouth snow spirit? Or some special effects makeup and a really good camera crew? Number one, occupied. I don't was cat. We all know how frustrating it is when someone keeps trying to get into the bathroom while you're in there. And it seems that this extends to the spirit world, because this invisible figure was not best pleased with being rushed. Actividad paranormal. <laughs> Me. The most interesting part of this video isn't the door handle, it's the shower curtain. Because as we know, doors are quite easy things to manipulate, believe it or not. And the fact that the guy turns the camera away from the door after it opened makes us a little sus. But what the hell was leaning against the shower curtain? We can't spot any jump cuts before he pulls it back. So unless he had some sort of tiny wind machine hidden in the shower, there had to be someone or something there. Looks like this guy interrupted the spectral shower time. Hey, here's a playlist full of creepy stuff caught on camera for you to enjoy. Wild, wild. Y'all, we did it. We made it to the end of the live stream. What? We was in here late tonight. We got started two and a half hours late. I know y'all tired. I'm tired. I'm so, I'm ready to go sleep. I'm about to go sleep, sleep, sleep right now. It's almost one o'clock in the morning on the East Coast. That's crazy, but I got some shout outs to do. I got some shout outs to do. Y'all, the new merch is available on the website for pre-order. For pre-order only. And it will be for the next week. If you guys want to get in here and grab what you can while you can. Everybody that has cop some hoodies or t-shirts of the new designs during the pre-order live stream, y'all going to get free stickers to match whatever you got. So you got more than one, you're going to get more than one sticker. So let's do these shout outs. Christina Mack, shout out to you. Angelique, Zachary, Crystal, Isaac. Wait, hold on. Crystal again? She came back with it. She was like, I need some more brandy. Shout out to you, Jeff. Cynthia, I see you up in here. Melissa. We got some of my, 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 my comebacks, man. People that have been, been copping merch with your boy for a minute. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support. Love it. Thank y'all. 
Hannah, shout out to you. Giovanna, Rochelle, I see you up in here. Shout out to you. 100 Expedition, shout out to you. Michael, appreciate you. That's Michael, that's Michael Saint right there. James, shout out to you. Alexis, Michael Correll, shout out to you. I think I said your name right. Uh, Ashley, shout out to you. Sandra, Kelly, shout out to you. Guy, guy hey, guy, guy back up in here with another order. Shout out to you. Natalie, shout out to you. Oh, wait, that's not Natalie. Is it? That's Naley. Shout out to you. I like that. Oh, I might look. I like that name. Ethan, Ethan, God dang. Ethan, what the heck? Y'all, Ethan got one of each hoodie. Ethan was like, I'm going to need all them hoodies. I'm going to need. He got multiple different sizes for different people. But shout out to you with the big order. I'm going to autograph. Everything getting autographed, y'all. Everything except for the blankets. Everything except for the blankets. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to autograph those, honestly. Um, Art Flores, shout out to you. Thank you so much. Hold on, y'all. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. We got some more. Mark Serenity, shout out to you. Jonathan, that's Jonathan Smith right there. Tara, shout out to you. Isaac, appreciate you, big baby. Wilfred, appreciate you. Is that the Wilfred I think it is? Ooh, who is this? Miss Calvin, shout out to you. Rochelle, Belisa, shout out to you. Teresa, shout out to you. Jessica Benson, shout out to you. Miranda, Angel, shout out to you. McNoni. What you got, McNoni? McNoni got a big order. She got the hoodie. Aliens a real hoodie. She got the Oh dang, you got the new shirts, the five finger ghost and the creepy ghost and the blanket, the alien blanket. I like it. Shout out to McNoni. McNoni been waiting on that stuff, man. Crystal. Got Crystal back with another one. That's like the third one. Kara, Cara, shout out to you. Nicole McDonald. Is that Nicole McDonald back with another one? Shout out to you, Travis. Appreciate you. Elizabeth. Nicole McCon. That's a different right there. Maggie, shout out to you. Nicole McC what the heck did you get, woman? You got a bunch of stuff too. Shout out to you, Nicole McCon. Appreciate you so much, big baby. Hold on, I done lost my spot trying to click on folks' order to see what they done got. Let's see, where we at, where we at, where we at? Akeem, I don't know, man. Your, your order look a little suspect. Zabek got 11 things. You got a bunch of stuff. Maggie. Ooh, Samaria. I love that. Miss Flores, shout out to you, April. Miss Sell, is, is your name... Um. Selma, Tabitha, there we go with the rhymes again, Ethan, David, that's David Williams right there, Harlan, shout out to you, Rhonda, shout out to you, Juan, shout out to you, Ricky, shout out to you, Elizabeth, Dana, Kendra, y'all was not playing with the pre-orders, Aaron, Pamela, Misty, Misty always dropping donations in every live stream, she didn't came in, she was like, I need some stuff, she got a big order too. Got a few blankets. I see you up in here. Zoli was in the chat, stressed, trying to get into. I, look, I, Zoli, when I tell you that man got every shirt I ever released, he had to get him this alien shirt this time. Shout out to you. I knew what was coming. I was like, he about to get the alien shirt. I already know. Uh, Just seen the shout out to you. Uh, Miss House. Oh, wait, or Mr. House. Juke. How you say your name? Jukabi? Shout out to you. Ricky. Gail. Pamela. Michelle. Debbie. Oh. Y'all wore me out. <laughs> that was a lot of people right there. Thank y'all so much for the support. Now, I need y'all to wait a while because it's going to be a while for um, all that stuff to get here. So, some of y'all stuff, I'll be able to knock y'all orders out a lot sooner um, within like the next two weeks. But all the hoodies and stuff, the Karen shirts, this is pre-order. So give it about a month before that stuff get here, okay? All right. Y'all, we're going to be back in here. Hopefully this weekend, um, I want to get back to that Goku painting that I was working on. So be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. I'm going to see if I can do it. But anyway, I had fun with you guys tonight. Thank y'all for hanging out. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. And then, yeah, for those of y'all that are still copying merchandise after the live stream, you'll be shouted out in the next live stream. But until then, see ya. Yeah, see? Yeah.